Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, just a dabble of glitter. Uh, today I'm going to be trying to recreate a peacock look that I did a few weeks ago. One of my friends wanted to know how to do it and I was like, okay, I'll totally tell you. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to recreate it perfectly, but I'm going to try. And yeah, I did cut my hair uh, by myself, so if it looks bad, tell me in the comments, but... I did actually do the haircut myself. I kind of screwed up the sides. It's a little too short on the sides, but overall I thought it looked pretty decent. I, uh, I missed my short hair. I definitely missed my short hair. Anyways, let's get into our um, eyeshadow look. Okay, so actually I already have my foundation on um, and my mascara and everything. And the first thing I'm going to start with is this blue from the inside of my CoverGirl Jewel palette and I'm going to use my shadow brush and I'm going to put the blue all the way across my lid um, and basically cover it with a decent amount of blue. Alright so I got the blue down um, it basically covers the entirety of the lid. My goal here um, from what I saw in the other picture like that I saved from when I did my Snapchat or I saved it on my Snapchat. I did a look. The eyeshadow was basically a blue base with a purple smoky eye. And then it had like a blue green crease. And then it faded from like green to yellow to white. Um, or gold in the crease. So I'm going to try and do that. So it'll be a purple smoky eye. And honestly I'll probably transition the purple into like the crease. And we'll see how it works. I really, I know I did this look before, but I sure as hell do not remember how I did it. Anyway, so the next thing I'm going to do is the crease. And for this, I think, oh yeah, yep. So we're using this like green gold color it's, um, from the same palette. It's the Jewel palette. Um... And I'm going to put that right in the crease of my eye using the crease brush that I just had out. Um, and, you know, start right at the corner of the eye, work it out a little bit, and then work it a little bit in. Um, and probably I'll work it pretty far into the corner of the eye just so I can transition it into, like, the green that's going to fade into the lid. Alright, so after, like, three seconds of looking and lifting on my leg, I found my crease brush. And I put that gold, um, green gold color onto my crease. I actually put a lot more onto the crease than I usually would. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put the, um, that same color on the inside of my lid right there. Um, and transition it out into like a gold color. Um, just because I think it's going to fit a little bit more with what I was aiming for, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that green color into the corner of my lid and blend it out into the actual blue on the lid of my eye. Alright, so I know you can't see it super well, but I did incorporate the um, green a little bit into the eyelid. Later I'm probably going to put a little bit more blue on just because I know there's going to be a lot more colors going on to my um, eyelid. So the next thing I think I'm going to do is work on the purple smoky eye part. Um, I'm going to go back to the crease later because I'm definitely putting some gold in there and some maybe some white in the creases. So for now I'm going to go ahead and use the this purple also out of the um, jewel palette that I have and I'm going to use mm, probably this angle definer brush and I'm just going to work a purple smoky eye with this dark purple um, into the edges right here. Alright guys, so I put the purple on the outside edge of my eye. I also took the liberty of blending in more blue from my palette. Just packing it in, especially in the corners. Because if you look really closely, the transition from the purple to blue is actually really nice. And it blends very well. And I wanted to keep that there instead of just having like, hello purple. So... Um, after this, or after that, I guess, I think what I'm going to do is put, 
don't even know. We're going to put a gold somewhere on my eyes. Um, it'll probably be in this corner right here. And I might drag it down underneath. Like, I might do a purple gold underneath and a um, green gold in the corner. I'm going to do something. I'll get back to you guys and tell you what I did. Alright guys, so I went through and I decided to pull some gold underneath the eye. Um, it blends into the purple and I put the gold in the corner of my eye as well. So instead of having like a white, I definitely did the gold. And it's just the gold from the uh, same palette, um, the CoverGirl Jewels. And so far it's pretty good. I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Um, blend a little bit of this purple up um, and into the eyelid. At this point, I think I'm pretty much done with this look, just putting on wise. Um, yeah, so definitely gonna go for more purple up here and blend it around into the blue into the green it's gonna go a little bit into the crease which I'm not thrilled about but it doesn't look terrible blend it down into the gold that I just did um, a little bit more out here and up I like this side better than this eye definitely this one just doesn't Actually, I know what the issue is. It's, like, my eyes are, um, they're angled differently. And this one's closer to my eyebrow than this one. Or maybe my eyebrows are dumb. I don't know. But one eye is definitely closer to the edge of my eyebrow than the other. And so, I can never put things on evenly. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for my look. I'm really unsure about this one because I almost want to add more, but it actually looks really awesome. Uh, so yeah, I zone out really bad. So that is my look. I'm probably going to put on, yeah, I'm going to put on another uh, coat of mascara just to, um, cause there's fallout from the eye shadow and I can't do anything about it. And then I'll put on my setting spray and we'll call it a day. Um, I would love to know your guys' recommendations for other makeup looks. I have like a list of things I want to do. But I want it to be something that you guys also enjoy. Because I love doing makeup in general. Um, but I want to do things that you guys think would be awesome. Uh... In the near future, I think I might do a video of me trying to do my eyebrows for the first time because, okay, technically I've tried to do my eyebrows before and I did one eyebrow and I went, wow, this looks like dumb. Really, really dumb. So I like quit on it and uh, just have never done eyebrows since because I'm really bad at it. Very bad at it. So there we go. I just... I literally just wipe off the foundation I put on my eyebrows. I'm like, on fleek. All right. So that is my completed look. I will put a good old picture in the description or beginning of the video or wherever I'm going to put it. Um, and I should find a... I also forgot to put my lip gloss on. Or lipstick. Um, it's a liquid catsuit mega last um by wet and wild this is the devil's advocate uh, scent wow it's been a day i am pregnant and i've been having so much morning sickness in pregnancy brain i'm like a little over seven weeks along and it's already been an adventure it's already I live in Colorado, guys. Like, there's so much weed smell, and the smell of weed makes me sick, and it makes me want to, like, die. And I haven't told my dad yet. And I went to a baseball game with him on 420, and I almost puked, like, a million and a half times. 
And my dad's like, what's wrong? And I was like, the smell is making me sick. And he's like, oh, huh. Because I've been around him before uh, when there was, like, marijuana. And I definitely was not sick. And he he knows that at least, like, in high school, I, I did a little bit of the good old Mary Jane. I don't really do that anymore. But I have done it before. And he thought it was interesting that suddenly it just makes me sick. So, it's been a party in that aspect. So I am like so focused. All right, there we go. That is me with the devil's advocate on my lips um, and my completed look. I will put a picture in the beginning of the video so that like y'all can see it up close. And also, I will be putting it on my Instagram because that is a thing I do. Uh, I will put a link in the description for my Instagram as well, feel free to follow me and hit the subscribe and like button on here. I would greatly appreciate it. And please uh, share with your friends because I need friends. I need people who love me other than myself. I love myself. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great rest of your week and glitter on guys. <laughs>